And have they come? They've come from everywhere. Uh, I've just had our former boss, Ben Amafio, now the two IC of Cricket Australia. For six years in my phone contacts, it's been Spud Frawley. Sadly, today, I've had to edit that entry and put Chompers Frawley. Is that hot chocolate? <laughs> the, old, um, the old Twitter's written up, Spud, and our audience... Um, they love you, mate. But uh, one here from Stewie McKenzie. Fangs for the memories. Oh, <laughs> Stu. What's next, Lockie McLaughlin? What's next for Spud? First the Chompers, the haircut Frawley next from Timsy. <laughs> <laughs> Not your well, finest. we do need to get to... Now, if you're just joining us, uh, Gaz caught up with the story on Monday and had to confirm no, it during no, the week. And then, can we just I did. caught Spud. up with the story on Monday? Just Spud. Just where did he get it from? Enough from you for the minute. <laughs> where did he get it from? Enough from you for the minute, Spud. <laughs> Look at that little trick over there. <laughs> but fair to say, Gary, he might think twice about putting running vision of me on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so therefore he worked through the week. Nice. When I was writing that piece, the man at the forefront of my mind was a man who we've all worked with and we've uh, spent a lot of time with and uh, probably got more respect for him in mm. terms of news media and his credibility is at yep, stake. Of course. And the way Spud has just gone after him when yeah. he may have had a little veneer. It was tongue in cheek. A little veneer. <laughs> perhaps it. A lightning. A lightning, that was all, but mm. he continues to get it. I wonder what his thoughts are this mo- on, uh, on the news that Danny Frawley has had a chomp done. <laughs> I speak of the original golden chomp himself. TJ, Tony Jones from Channel 9. Welcome, TJ. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> can, I tell, can I tell you, wedding, birth, this is by far Wedding's the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Mate, you've had to wear a few from Spud over the years. I tell you, the amount of crap that I've had to put up with because of him and this unfair tag chompers. <laughs> there was once at the Cox Plate, I was doing the Cox Plate ceremony, and security had to move in to pipe the crowd down for chanting chompers. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just... I mean, it was tongue-in-cheek, time. More like a jackhammer in the cheek for you, I reckon, to dull the pain. I mean, it's just... What, no, Danny, you can't back out now. I mean, this is just one of the great acts of hypocrisy on your part. <laughs> I, I haven't actually had dental work done. No, Tone, you, can you believe he's done it? This is the question we're all asking. This is a man from humble roots, bungaree, working class, blue collar, and now he's gone down this visual path. Well, it's obviously a vanity thing, because I, 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 I have noticed, Danny, that you've, you've changed the hairstyle and you do your utmost to sort of keep your weight down and all the rest of it, but... <laughs> Mate, they got, there comes a stage where just don't worry about it, mate. Don't worry about it. You can't water weeds with champagne. Oh, I'll let, have, a listen, oh. have a listen to you, you bag of pus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm pulling no punches now. Uh, I'm just taking it. it. No, I'm not going to take it well. He's just going to explode. Oh, he is. He's, oh, he's, he's taking it in good humour up until now. I just, I just, I just wonder though. Look, I have had a little bit of dental work done. But, uh, <laughs> Tone, I, I actually got my I, front chomper knocked out when I was a very young boy, and then you know the part-time dentist, full-time vet at Ballarat, put it in when I was twenty. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I won't go over it. I did. I got the front one yeah. done. Tone, and of course, they're just throwing me under look, the bus. That doesn't excuse good. the rest of them. <laughs> I, Danny, what do you? I because I, I have sort of noticed, and you do have. Like very, you know, farmer's teeth, if you like. I have. What, what do you use to floss? Octopus straps? Oh, I mean, just... Come on, teach. Come on, oh, teach. <laughs> what have you got a book of thousand uh, jokes and uh, rib ticklers there? Zingers. <laughs> oh, well. all been... Anyway, listen, we could go on like this all day, but I'm having too much fun today, and uh, I'm just going <laughs> to basically go and celebrate. All right, right Tone, thanks for that. We'll get a quick uh, thought, a couple of thoughts from the family. Nick joins us first in Melton. Hey, Nick. G'day, fellas. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> Oh, we might have oh, some issues with your gone. phone line, so yeah. we might have to get... Who have we got? Mark, I think, might be next in Sunbury. Hey, Marco. G'day, guys. How are you? Love the show. Your thoughts? Oh, look, a bit disappointing. I know uh, Spud's protesting is only one tooth, but unfortunately, Spiro has said it was only one goat, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daniel, that's not, that's not bad. Uh, that's, not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. Daniel, I'll that one. <laughs> Daniel in Beaconsfield, your thoughts, Dan, man? G'day, Choppers. How are you, mate? <laughs> I'll tell you what, fellas, that I, I love listening to your show, and especially when Spud gets into the uh, Purple Headed Warrior. Yep. I drop pain all over my feet <laughs> from laughter, but I just remember last time was the foundation, wasn't it? 
Yes, yeah, mate, yes. This is exactly right. Yeah, but don't play. worry, Spud, mate. If you want to look after your teeth, well done, because I'm getting all my teeth nice and cleaned up now. So, but uh, it was funny, mate. But well, anything, anything mate, they can hang on you, they'll hang Daniel, on. Daniel, I got a couple of hours off before I do the North Bullies game. Where are you doing your painting, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I make lures. I'm the lure man. Yeah, just give you the address, will you? Uh, Mark in uh, Ringwood might be with us now. Hello, Marco. Hello, boys. Hey, Chompers. How you doing, bud? <laughs> Yeah, I think he's just... Look, yeah, I'm just taking it well, that, Mark. Yeah, Have a yeah. listen to Brayshaw over there. <laughs> yeah. Someone's going to get thrown through a window in a minute. <laughs> yes, Mark. Yeah. I, I've, I've had a couple done myself, so I'm not going to take the piss that much, but <laughs> yeah. I, woke up flat, I woke up flat this morning because I've got to clean my shed. There's shit everywhere in there. <laughs> and this is just... This has just lifted me so much. I just... I'm, oh, I'm sky high at the moment. Righto, thanks for that. Yeah, thanks, Nick in uh, Melton yeah. oh, uh, to round us out. Look at the boys. Taking talk back How's it going? Me. Good. Nick? Uh, I'm shocked. I thought Spud was a tough boy. And, uh, getting his teeth done. What's next? The blonded hair and tits? Yeah, well, he has yeah, been yeah, down yeah, that yeah, path yeah. before. <laughs> 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 he has. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen someone take as much joy. Gaz is actually starting to feel sorry oh, for him. Yeah. He knows my fuse is just yeah. about <laughs> at its wit's end. <laughs> and, I tell you, oh. and don't you start shortling there too, Warwick. Oh, I feel sorry you? for you, mate. I no, no, do. don't feel sorry for me. Because right, when it I wasn't get over me. the top of you to get the brace short, there'll be nothing left of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well done to the cause. Yeah, thanks, cause. <laughs> You've made me day. Um, we needed to get the thoughts of the family, Gary. Well, we I haven't taken I'm... talk back for four years. No, yeah, Jim, <laughs> Jim's demanded oh, we yeah, take talk back all of a sudden. What I can glean out yeah. of this, he did take the treadmill one. Well, didn't he? Yeah, well, yeah, a couple yeah. of weeks ago. I think ago. that was the one that tipped you over the edge, yeah, JB, wasn't it? Stored that up pretty well. <laughs> you took that well, needed didn't you? to be stored up, Spud. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, I like to bury my head in Twitter on the one what's, day of the what, week. What's coming no, through? I can't read them all out, Jim. I'll, oh. I'll pick the best of them <laughs> after it, but our audience, <laughs> have um, they've enjoyed it, Spud.